Welcome to American Top 40. I'm Casey Kasem, and this is our countdown of the most popular songs in the USA. These are the 40 biggest hits of the week right out of Billboard's nationwide survey of radio stations and record stores. The countdown begins now with our recap survey of last week's Big Three. And here we go. The third biggest hit in the country last week was this match. Jackson, and don't stop till you get enough. The song that was number three last week. My name's Casey Kasem. This is American Top 40, and every week before starting our countdown of the new Top 40, we recap the top three from last week's survey. And here's the song that was number two last week. Pop, pop, pop music.
Pop Music by M, the hit that was number two last week. My name's Casey Kasem, and just ahead of this week's countdown, we're recapping the songs that were the three biggest hits a week ago on American Top 40. And last week, this was the song that was number one. Albert's Rise, number one last week on American Top 40. I'm Casey Kasem, and that's our recap of the top three songs from last week. Our countdown of this week's 40 begins in a moment. Casey's Coast to Coast. My name's Casey Kasem, and if you've just joined us, you're in time to hear all 40 of this week's most popular songs in the USA. Billboard ranks them, and we count them down. Leading off is a debut song by the rock band who gave us When You're In Love With A Beautiful Woman just a couple of months ago. At number 40, here's Dr. Hook with Better Love Next Time. I'm your friend, you can talk to me. I read your face.
to the 40 hottest records in the USA, debuting at number 40 with Better Love Next Time, Dr. Hook. Listen to a piece of this record. Does it sound anything like Bob Dylan? Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right, here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Well, the man who had this top 10 hit a few years ago meant it to be a parody of Bob Dylan. But nobody noticed. That story is coming up. Look, it's from coast to coast. American Top 40. I'm Casey Kasem in Hollywood with the official AT40 Countdown. Here's the second of this week's four debut songs. Crystal Gale comes in at number 39 with Half the Way. Half of your love is just not what I'm after. Part of your world is just. No. 
Number 39 with a debut record called Half the Way. This is Casey Kasem on American Top 40 in Hollywood. And now, the story of that hit song that was meant to be a parody of a superstar, but nobody noticed. It was Scotsman Jerry Rafferty's first big hit when he was a member of Steeler's Wheel. That was in 1973. Jerry and his partner, Joe Egan, wrote the song as a parody of one of rock's living legends, Bob Dylan, who, by the way, is in this week's countdown. They thought it would help the song get noticed and give it a better chance of becoming a hit. Let's listen to a part of it again. Well, to the left of me, jokers to the right, here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Jerry Rafferty and Steeler's Wheel meant that song to be a takeoff of Bob Dylan's songwriting style on his alienation and paranoia. But if anybody noticed, nobody said so. People just took the record on its face value. It failed as a parody, but Stuck in the Middle with You became a top ten smash on its own hook. That's the way it goes in the record business. And the countdown continues. Here's that long-established jazz group, the Crusaders, who've been charting for 13 years in the Hot 100, but never reached the top 40 until last week. Up a notch to 38, here they are with Street Life. I play the street life Because there's no place I can go Street life It's the only life I know Street life And there's a thousand parts to play Street life Until you play your life away you let the people see just who you want to be. And every night you shine just like a superstar. That's how the life is played, a tense and masquerade. You just go off your talk, you're who you think you are. Street life, you can run away from time. Street life, for a nickel or a dime. Street life, but you better. Get old street life, or you're gonna feel the cold. There's always love for sale, a grown up fairy tale. Prince Charming always smiles behind a silver spoon. And if you keep it young, your song is always on. Your love will pay your way beneath the silver moon.
the Crusaders on American Top 40 at number 38, moving up a notch with Street Life. For many months now, two of the biggest superstars of rock, both Englishmen, have been feuding in public. They began the feud as a joke over their rival soccer teams. But lately, they're trading insults, personal insults, about each other's hair. Details coming up. Casey's Coast to Coast, American Top 40. Once a week with American Top 40, and you know where your favorite songs are in the national music scene. My name's Casey Kasem, and we're up to another debut song. It's the third time in the 40 for the rock group Blondie. This one was co-written by guitarist Chris Stein and his girlfriend, lead singer Deborah Harry. Coming in at number 37, here's Blondie and Dreaming. on American Top 40, first week on the chart, it's Blondie and Dreaming. Well now, our story of the feud between two of the biggest English superstars in the history of rock, a feud that's been building conspicuously for months now. The parties in this battle of the titans are none other than Elton John and Rod Stewart. For a long time, Elton and Rod were the best of friends, until one day they found themselves on opposite sides of a soccer match. Rod was rooting for the team he used to play with, the Brentford Football Club, while Elton is the owner of the Watford Football Club. And out of their disagreement over which was the better team, Elton and Rod began to call each other names in the press. Then, when Rod was playing a concert in London a few months ago, Elton had a sign hung outside the concert hall that read, Blondes may have more fun, but brunettes have more money. And Rod retaliated by replacing Elton's sign with a poke at Elton's balding head that read, Blondes may have more fun, but brunettes have more transplants. Catty as they may be to each other, Rod Stewart swears it's all in fun. He says, Elton and I have had a few ups and downs, but he's still one of my best friends. This week, Rod Stewart's bosom buddy, Elton John, moves up four notches to number 36. His hit is Victim of Love. Sounds so real that I fell into 
Second week on the chart, moving up four to number 36 on American Top 40 with Victim of Love. 35 big ones to number one, and we're counting them down. week, American Top 40 is heard in the 50 states and around the world on great radio stations like WJON, St. Cloud, Minnesota, WKMX, Enterprise, Alabama, and CX50, Radio Independencia, Montevideo, Uruguay. Here's Jimmy Buffett and Finns at number 35. She came down from Cincinnati. It took her three days on the train. Looking for some
Jimmy Buffett at number 35, third week on the chart with Fins. This is Casey Kasem on American Top 40 in Hollywood, and the countdown continues now on our way to the number one song in the nation. Here at number 34, 14th week on the chart, and still hanging in there, Little River Band and Lonesome Loser. Have you heard about the Lonesome Loser? Beaten by the Queen of Hearts every time. Have you heard about the lonesome loser? He's a loser, but he still keeps on trying. Australia's Little River Band at number 34 on American Top 40 with a former Top 10 record. That's Lonesome Loser. And the countdown rolls on. Casey's Coast to Coast, American Top 40. American Top 40 originates in Hollywood. I'm Casey Kasem, and the countdown continues. Number 33. Here's the group Cheap Trick with their excursion into the supernatural, moving up four notches to 33 with... Dream Police.
awake, they won't let me alone. They don't get paid to take vacations, I'll let me alone. They spy on me, I try to hide, they won't let me alone. They persecute me, they're the judge and jury, I'm in one. The group is Cheap Trick, and their latest hit, their third on American Top 40, is Dream Police at number 33. Now, from the AT40 Archive, another of the number one songs of the 70s. We're reviewing them all at the rate of three a week from January 1970 right on through. And we're up to January 1976. This was the 160th number one record of the decade. I Write the Songs by Barry Manilow.
weekly review of all the number one songs of the 70s from the AT40 archives of January 1976. That was Barry Manilow with I Write the Songs, the 160th number one record of the decade. This is American Top 40 in Hollywood, California, and we're counting down the most popular songs in the 50 states. I'm Casey Kasem. We'll continue with this survey of the week's biggest hits in just a moment. So don't go away. This is Casey Kasem in Hollywood on American Top 40. We're counting down the biggest hits in the nation the way they're ranked on Billboard Magazine's Pop Singles Chart. And our countdown continues. Number 32. Here's a woman who used to bill herself by the nickname Chunky. But on her first hit single, she's Lauren Wood with Please Don't Leave.
Written and sung by newcomer Lauren Wood at number 32, moving up six, Please Don't Leave. We're counting down to the first hit by a 30-year-old woman who says her inspiration to keep struggling is her furniture. It belonged to her great-grandmother who was born into slavery 130 years ago and escaped. That story is coming up. Like it's from coast to coast, American Top 40. American Top 40 is heard in the 50 states and around the world every week on great radio stations like WKOR, Starkville, Mississippi, WKRM, Columbia, Tennessee, and WNCI, Columbus, Ohio. Here's Supertramp back on the chart at number 31 with Take the Long Way Home. The group is Supertramp. They debut at number 31 with their latest, and it's called Take the Long Way Home. This is Casey Kasem on American Top 40 in Hollywood, and now we're up to the hit by the woman who says her inspiration to keep struggling for success is her furniture. The artist is singer and songwriter Brenda Russell, whose first hit is now climbing the chart. It's been a long, slow process for this 30-year-old woman, but you wouldn't know what to talk to her. A few days ago, Brenda told us what it is that prevents her from becoming bitter and frustrated at her slow-moving career. 
Brenda's apartment is furnished with beautiful antique furniture that she inherited from her great-grandmother, Christina Platt, a black woman who was born in the American South 130 years ago, who lived the first 13 years of her life as a slave. And then, Brenda told us, during the Civil War, her great-grandmother escaped to the North where she carved out a new life for herself. She got married, built a home with her husband in an all-white town in Massachusetts, and raised 13 children. They put five sons through college. Christina Platt rode horseback, carried a gun, and lived for 101 years. Her great-grandmother was a strong woman, says Brenda Russell. Well, now, Brenda has her great-grandmother's furniture in her apartment. And she says, it's a good thing for me to have because whenever I feel like I'm struggling, I just look at this furniture and think about what she went through. This week, Brenda's first hit moves up a notch to number 30. We're on the shores of nowhere Looking out to sea I turn and kiss your face And you laugh at me You laugh at me How do I feel? Well, I feel like praying Feel like saying Feel so good, so right To be with you tonight So good Survey song number 30 on American Top 40 by Brenda Russell. 29 hits to number one, and we're counting them down. Casey's, Casey's, Casey's coast to coast. American Top 40. Here now is the flannel frog, Kermit, Jim Henson of Muppet fame, at number 29, moving up five with Rainbow Connection. Why are there so many songs about rainbows And what's on the other side Rainbows are visions But only illusions And rainbows have nothing to hide Way. 
of 40-year-old Jim Henson, Kermit the Frog, the Muppet that was created 23 years ago. At number 29 in our countdown this week with Rainbow Connection. Number 28. The city of Oakland, California is well known for its baseball A's and football Raiders, and the word's been getting around pretty good that it's also Bonnie Pointer's hometown. Bonnie's current single dropped seven this week at number 28. Still hanging in there is Heaven Must Have Sent You.
Bonnie Pointer at number 28 this week, falling seven notches with Heaven Must Have Sent You. The most nerve-wracking job in the world of rock is done by a guy who gets blamed for snowstorms, for late-running airlines, and for missing band members. My special report on the tough job of the road manager is coming up. The hits from coast to coast. From Hollywood, this is Casey Kasem, and the countdown continues till we get to the top. The song at number 27, third week on the chart, is by J.D. Souther. Number 27 in our countdown, moving up eight notches with You're Only Lonely. Well, now we're up to my special report on the most nerve-wracking job in the world of rock. A job done by a guy who gets blamed for hurricanes, for late-running airlines, and for lost band members. I'm talking about the tough job of road manager. Strictly speaking, all the road manager has to do is get a rock group from show to show. No real problem there, right? Wrong. The problems that come up moving around dozens of people that make up a rock entourage can be unbelievable. For starters, the road manager has to make all the tour arrangements, secure overnight accommodations, make travel plans, and work out such details as catering and security arrangements. That's only the beginning. Once the tour starts, the road manager has to deal with every single problem that pops up. 
Tom Moeller, who's been road manager for stars like Blondie, Barry Manilow, and Bob Dylan, says, I have to be a little bit of everything. Doctor, lawyer, accountant, social director, mother, and friend. My job is to make an inhumane situation as human as possible. In Moeller's career, he's had to do everything from disguising Emerson, Lake, and Palmer as delivery men to slip them out of a show, to finding Jimmy Cliff housing in a bordello in French Guiana after his hotel blew apart in a hurricane. But Tom Moeller says he wouldn't think of quitting his profession as a road manager. He doesn't know another job where he can have that much fun and get paid for it too. And that's my special report on the high-pressure world of the road manager. Now on with the countdown. Number twenty-six. Here's a song that spent six weeks at number one and is sure to finish well in the top in our year-end special countdown. It's on the way down now, holding at number twenty-six this week. Banak and my Sharona.
number 26, 16 weeks on American Top 40. That former number one song is My Sharona by the Knack. 25 big ones on our way to number one as we count them down. Casey's Coast to Coast. Every week on AT40, we count down the biggest hits in America from Kokomo to Lompoc, from Osceola to Escanaba. And we're up to number 25, Chris Thompson with If You Remember Me. When you remember me, if you remember me, I hope you see it's not the way I want it to be. Chris Thompson is his name, and his first hit song on American Top 40, produced by Richard Perry, is If You Remember Me, at number 25. There's a man in the countdown who first hit the chart low on the Hot 100 21 years ago, then struggled for 13 years before he could make the Top 40, and then struggled for another eight years before he could make the Top 40 again. It's made him a bitter man. His story and that second Top 40 hit are coming up. In Hollywood, this is Casey Kasem with the most popular songs in America. Well, now we're up to number 24, and it's Bob Dylan moving up a notch with Gotta Serve Somebody. You may be an ambassador to England or France. You may like to gamble. You might like to dance. You may be the heavyweight champion of the world You may be a socialite with a long string of pearls But you're gonna have to serve somebody Yes, indeed, you're gonna have to serve somebody Well, it may be the devil or it may be the Lord But you're gonna have to serve somebody Maybe a rock and roll addict dancing on the stage. Money drugs at your command, women in a cage. You may be a businessman or some high degree thief. They may call you. Dumb. 
doctor They may call you cheap But you're gonna have to serve somebody Yes, you are You're gonna have to serve somebody Serve somebody Well, it may be the devil Or it may be the Lord But you're gonna have to serve somebody You may be blind or lame Maybe living in another country Under another name But you're gonna have to serve somebody Yes, you are You're gonna have to serve somebody Serve somebody Well, it may be the devil Or it may be the Lord But you're gonna have to serve somebody Working on a home Might be living in a mansion You might live in a dome You may own guns And you may even own tanks You may be somebody's landlord You may even own banks But you're gonna have to serve somebody Yes, you're gonna have to serve somebody Survey song number 24, he moves up one, Bob Dylan, and gotta serve somebody. Well, now on AT40, we're up to the song by the man who first hit the Hot 100 low on the chart 21 years ago, then struggled for 13 years before he could make it into the 40, then had to struggle for eight more years before he could make the top 40 again. Now, it isn't written anywhere that desire and hard work automatically get you success in show business. But the kind of struggle that he's gone through, says singer Robert John, has made him a bitter man. What hurt him the most was the treatment he says he received from his record company seven years ago after he hit number three with The Lion Sleeps Tonight. Robert said, I was set on the road in a way you wouldn't do to your worst enemy. We sounded like a band you wouldn't even use at a high school dance. One guy had only had three lessons on the guitar. It was a joke. It was embarrassing. But Robert John said that that was not the worst of it. The Lion Sleeps Tonight was a million seller, and when it came time for Robert to pick up his gold record, 
The company handed it to him, he says, unframed in a brown paper bag. Well, after all that, said Robert John, it took me years to recover. I didn't trust anybody for a long time. I felt I'd been stepped on and crushed. Those are the words of a bitter man. But Robert John came back, he says, because he loves music and because he has a family to support. Well, that second Top 40 hit that he waited eight years for hit number one last month. It's on its way down now, and here it is at number 23. Robert John has the oldest record in the countdown, 19 consecutive weeks on American Top 40, and now at number 23, Sad Eyes. Now from the AT40 archives, another of the number one songs of the 70s. We're up to January 1976, and this was the 161st number one record of the decade, The Theme from Mahogany by Diana Ross. Are you 
in our weekly review of all the number one songs of the 70s from the AT40 archives of January 1976. That was Diana Ross with the theme from Mahogany, Billboard's 161st number one record of the decade. This is Casey Kasem in Hollywood. We're counting down the most popular songs in the USA on American Top 40. Our survey of the week's biggest hit singles will continue in just a moment, so stay right where you are. we continue our countdown of the 40 biggest songs in the country, I'd like to welcome two new stations to the American Top 40 family. WECQ, Geneva, New York, and WRBN, Warner Robins, Georgia. Very glad to have you with us. My name's Casey Kasem, and we're doing our weekly survey of the most popular records in the USA. On we go. Number 22. Michael Johnson is his name. His third Top 40 hit is at number 22 this week. It's been around for six weeks, and it's called... This night won't last forever. Everybody likes a celebration Happy music and conversation But I'd be lying if I said I didn't have a blues In the corner there's a couple dancing from the kitchen I can hear her laughing Oh, why? wish I was celebrating too Situation Pretending there's nothing wrong 
Johnson at number 22 in our countdown, This Night Won't Last Forever. This is Casey on American Top 40 in Hollywood. Well, Canada is well represented this week by two pretty ladies in the countdown. One is Franz Jolie and the other is Anne Murray. This week, Anne moves up three notches to number 21. Here's Broken Hearted Me. Every now and then I cry Keep staying on my mind All my friends say I'll survive It just takes time Broken Hearted Me, survey song number 21, third week on the chart. 20 hits to number one, and we're counting them down. Casey's, Casey's, Casey's Coast to Coast. American Top 40. In Hollywood, I'm Casey Kasem. Here's Jennifer Warnes, who auditioned for television's Mouseketeers when she was eight years old and didn't make it. But she bounced back. Up to number 20, here she is with I Know a Heartache When I See One. So 
American Top 40 at number 20, moving up a couple of notches with I Know a Heartache When I See One. We're counting down to a song on one of the smallest and kookiest record labels in all of England. A company that once wallpapered the offices of a major British rock magazine on the outside of the building, right over the windows. My profile of feisty little stiff records is coming up. It's from coast to coast. Um, These are the most listened to songs in the nation. Our survey continues with the tune at number 19 falling all the way from number 6. The Commodores. Sail on. Sail on down the line by half a mile or so and I don't really want to know where you're going. Maybe once or twice, you see, time after time, I try to, to, to hold on to what we got, but now you're going. And I don't mind about the things you're going to say, Lord. I gave all my money and my time. I know it's a shame, but I'm giving you back your name. Yes, I'll be on my way. I won't be back to stay. I guess I'll move along. So, but it doesn't matter It was plain to see the small town boy like me Just a, wasn't your cup of tea I was wishful thinking I gave you my heart And I tried to make you happy
The Commodores at number 19, falling from number 6 with Sail On. Well, now on AT40, we're up to a hit from one of the smallest and kookiest record labels in all of England. Feisty Little Stiff Records. Now, Stiff started three years ago with an investment of only $800 and a recording artist named Nick Lowe. With that $800, Stiff pressed as many copies as it could of Nick's single, So It Goes. And Stiff's director, Dave Robinson, says, When we got more money, we pressed more records. We sold the records from the trunk of my car, and all our meetings took place while we walked around the block because there was no room in the office. It was all great fun, he says. So much fun, in fact, that Robinson likes to tell a story of the time his company wanted to publicize a new album of theirs. So they hired the world's fastest wallpaper hanger, whose name they found in the Guinness Book of World Records, and they had him completely paper the outside of the offices of Melody Maker magazine, the biggest rock journal in England, papered right over every window in the building. That got some attention. This week, another of Stiff's recording artists is in the countdown. Holding at number 18, here's Ian Gom with Hold On. I've been drifting on the sea of heartbreak Trying to get myself ashore for so long For so long Second week at number 18 on American Top 40, that's Ian Gom from England and Hold On. 
From Rock, Michigan to Roll, Indiana, you're hearing the most popular songs in the nation. I'm Casey Kasem, and this is American Top 40. Number 17. Nine songs by female solo artists in the countdown this week. One of them is only 16 years old. She's Canadian France Jolie at number 17 with Come to Me. Number 17, sixth week on the survey on American Top 40 with Come to Me. A listener in Missouri and a listener in Texas have sent in the same question. They want to know what state and what city have been named the most in Top 40 song titles. Well, the leaders at the moment are the most populous state and most populous city in America. Details coming up. Casey's Coast to Coast, America. On AT40, I'm Casey Kasem, and here's one of 16 groups in the countdown this week. Five guys from the Bay Area who call themselves Journey. At number 16, this is Lovin', Touchin', Squeezin'.
11th week on American Top 40, now at number 16, second week in a row, it's Journey and Lovin', Touchin', Squeezin'. Now, let's find out what city and what state have hit the Top 40 the most. Bill Bolko in El Paso, Texas, and Gary O'Neill in St. Peter's, Missouri have sent in the same question. What city and what state have been named in the most Top 40 song titles? Okay, gentlemen, here are your answers. The city whose name appears in the most Top 40 song titles is the biggest town in the USA, New York City. It's made the Top 40 in the titles of nine different hits. Now, the state whose name appears in the most Top 40 song titles is the most populous state, California. It's been named in Top 40 song titles seven times. And those are your answers, Bill and Gary. Thanks for writing. And because we used your questions, we'll send you each a copy of the American Top 40 yearbook. Now, on with the countdown. Number 15. Here's Barry Manilow, up five positions to number 15. The song, Ships. Just my father and me And the dogs played around on the sand Winter cold cut the air Hanging still everywhere Dressed in gray Did he say hold my hand? Far away We sat and watched A distant light Where two ships That pass In the night We both smile And we say It's alright We're still here It's just that we on the chart. Up to number 15 already, Barry Manilow has done it again. His latest is called Ships. Coming up, a long-distance dedication from a very happy young woman in West Virginia to her third husband. 
American Top 40. With three songs in the countdown, super producer Mike Chapman is once again well represented. Once by Blondie and twice by The Knack. Here's The Knack at number 14 with Good Girls Don't. She's your adolescent dream. Schoolboy stuff, a sticky sweet romance. She makes you wanna scream. Wishing she was giving you a chance. So you fantasize away while you're squeezing her. You thought you heard her saying, Good girls don't. Good girls don't. What should be telling you? Good girls don't. But I do. So you call her on the phone to talk about the teachers that you hate. She says she's all alone And her parents won't be coming home till late There's a ringing in your brain Cause you could have swore You thought you heard her say Good girls don't Good girls don't What she been telling you Good girls don't But I do And it's a teenage sadness Everyone has got to taste She puts you in your place You're alone with her at last And you're waiting till you think the time is right Cause you've heard she's pretty fast And you're hoping that she'll give you some tonight The Knack, and they're at number 14, moving up a notch this week on American Top 40 with Good Girls Don't. You know, the letters we get every week requesting long-distance dedications just go to show how much we all depend on popular songs to say a lot of things we feel. Like this letter from a young woman in Fort Gay, West Virginia. Here's what she writes. Dear Casey, I'm 22 years old, and I'm already on my third marriage. I celebrated my second wedding anniversary last August. My husband, Roy, married me, even though I had one three-year-old son and was eight months along in another pregnancy. I loved him then, but I love him even more now. Recently, I heard a song that came out 15 or 20 years ago that explains how I feel about Roy. It's hard for me to put into words the way I feel, so I would like to dedicate the song My Guy to him. Roy has shown me the kind of love I never knew existed. He loves me and the two boys a lot. That's why he is my guy. Signed, Brenda. Okay, Brenda, here's your long-distance dedication. Yeah. 
That's Mary Wells with her number one song of 15 years ago, My Guy, a long-distance dedication from Brenda in West Virginia to her third husband, her guy, Roy. And the countdown continues on American Top 40. Every week, American Top 40 is heard in the 50 states and around the world on great radio stations like WKXN, Greenville, Alabama, WMNS, Olean, New York, and 3DB, Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. Falling eight positions to number 13, here's Dionne Warwick. You look inside my fantasies and made each one come true, something no one else had ever found a way to do I've kept the memories one by one Since you took me in I know I'll never love this way again If you should go away I'll stand here and remember Just how good it's been And I know I'll never love this way again on American Top 40 at number 5 for a couple of weeks, falling to number 13 with I'll Never Love This Way Again. After climbing the chart for six weeks, Foreigner's latest hit is leveling off. Holding at number 12 for the second week in a row, here's Dirty White Boy. Friends see Will it ruin your reputation love? 
There are 10 foreign acts in our countdown, and Foreigner is one of them. At number 12, second week in a row with Dirty White Boy. Now from the AT40 archives. Another of the number one songs of the 70s. We're up to January 1976. This was the 162nd number one record of the decade. Love Roller Coaster by the Ohio Players. number one songs of the 70s from the AT40 archives of January 1976. That was Love Roller Coaster by the Ohio Players, Billboard's 162nd number one record of the decade. I'm Casey Kasem. This is American Top 40 in Hollywood, and we're counting down the most popular songs in America. We'll continue with our survey of the week's biggest hits in just a moment. Stay right there. Down to the 40 biggest hits in the USA. I'm Casey Kasem, this is American Top 40, and we're on our way to the most popular song in the nation. Number 11. Well, without that fast, infectious disco beat they became famous for, you may not recognize this as KC and the Sunshine Band. But it's them, and after six weeks on the chart, this song has climbed up to number 11. Here's KC and the Sunshine Band with Please Don't Go.
moving up two in our countdown to number 11, Casey and the Sunshine Band with Please Don't Go. They've each had three number one singles, and they're regarded as two of the most important female artists of the rock era. I'm talking about Barbara Streisand and Donna Summer. After only three weeks on the Hot 100, their duet is already in the top ten. Here's No More Tears. It's raining, it's pouring, my love life is boring me to tears. After all these years, no sunshine, no moonlight, no stardust, no sign of romance. We don't stand the same. I always dreamed I'd find the perfect lover. But he turned out to be like every other man I love, I love Raining, raining. Oh, oh, there's nothing left for us here to be a number one record. Barbara Streisand and Donna Summer two weeks on American Top 40 and they're at number 10 with No More Tears. Next up, the number one country song in the USA. It's from coast to coast American 
I'm Casey Kasem. Well, the number one country song this week climbs a notch on American Top 40 to number nine. Here's Kenny Rogers with You Decorated My Life. All my life was a paper Once plain, pure, and white Till you moved with your pen Changing moods now and then Till the balance was right Then you added some music Every note was in place And anybody could see All the changes in me By the look on my face With no reason In an unfinished song There was no harmony Life meant nothing to me Until you came along And you brought out the colors What a gentle surprise Now I'm able to see All the things life can be Shining soft in your eyes And you decorated my life We're into the top ten on American Top 40, and that song is at number nine, moving up a notch. Kenny Rogers and You Decorated My Life. American Top 40 is heard in the 50 states and around the world every week on great radio stations like KLEU, Waterloo, Iowa, KLIK, Jefferson City, Missouri, and CKBI, Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. The song at number eight's been around for only four weeks, Fleetwood Mac and Tusk.
Fleetwood Mac on American Top 40 at number eight, second week in the top ten with Tusk. A listener in Germany wants to know if any singer has ever had a number one song that he later recorded again as a remake and hit the top ten with. Well, it happened once, and this was the first version. Do, 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 down, do, be, do, down, down. Details are coming up, and we'll hear pieces of both versions. American Top 40 originates in Hollywood. I'm Casey Kasem. Number seven. As Bob Seger is to Detroit, Styx is to Chicago. Their following there is stronger than the wind off Lake Michigan. This week, Styx moves up seven notches to number seven with Babe. Babe, I'm leaving. I must be on my way. The time is drawing. train is going I see it in your eyes The love will need your tears But I'll be lonely without you And I'll need your love to see me through So please believe me My heart is in your hands Short weeks on American Top 40, and that record is at number seven. It's Babe, and it's by Styx. Well, now, let me answer that question about artists recording remakes of their own former number one hits. The letter's from Germany, from Daryl Purifoy in West Berlin, and this is his question. Has any song hit the number one spot and later returned to the top ten as a remake performed by the same artist? 
Well, Daryl, there's no reason to expect that that's ever happened. But it did, at least once. Back in 1962, a piano-playing singer-songwriter hit number one with this song. Don't take your love away from me Don't you leave my heart in misery Then, 14 years later, the same artist recorded a new version of his old hit, this time as a ballad, and it made the top ten. Don't take your love you leave my heart in misery those two versions of the same song breaking up is hard to do represent the only time we know of where the same singer has first hit number one and then the top ten with two different versions of the same song the man who did it neil sedaka Thanks for sending in such a far-out question, Daryl. And because we're able to use it on the air, we're sending you a complimentary copy of the American Top 40 Yearbook. Now, on with the countdown. Number six. Here's Michael Jackson, the former number one record, now at number six. Don't stop till you get enough.
Six consecutive weeks in the top ten for that former number one soul and pop hit. That's Michael Jackson and Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. Five big ones to number one as we count them down. The hits from coast to coast. American Top 40. While Sail On is the biggest dropper in this week's countdown on AT40, the Commodore's other hit is threatening to go to number one. This week it moves from number eight to number five. The Commodores with Still. Baby. Morning's just a moment away. And I'm without you once again. You laughed at me You said you never needed me I wonder if you need me now So many dreams that flew away one of the most powerful ballads of the year. The Commodores at number five with Still. From Hollywood, this is Casey Kasem, and the countdown gets closer to the top. Here is last week's number one best-selling record. This week, it falls to number four. Herb Alpert's Rise.
After two weeks at the top of the chart, that number one record falls to number four this week on American Top 40, Herb Alpert's Rise. We're counting down to a supergroup who were first put together as a backup band for Linda Ronstadt, but they never played a note for her, because when they started rehearsing for Linda's act, they sounded so good to themselves that they left Linda to go out on their own. That story and this supergroup's latest hit are coming up. Casey's Coast to Coast, American Top 40. Here's one of six Top 40 hits Donna Summer has had in the year 1979. Moving up from number four to number three, it's Dim All the Lights. Dim all the lights, sweet darling, cause tonight it's all the way. Turn up the old Victrola, gonna dance the night away. Love just don't go easy, no, it's seldom done. When you find Donna Summer at number three, moving up a notch, fifth week in the top ten with Dim All the Lights. This is Casey Kasem on American Top 40 in Hollywood, and now we're up to the song by the supergroup that Linda Ronstadt brought together as her backup band, but who never played a note behind her. Back in 1971, Linda's managers were looking for the best backup band possible to strengthen Linda's act both on stage and in the recording studio. So they brought together four very accomplished musicians. They'd all played for Linda before, but never just the four of them as a group. So they started rehearsing and learning Linda's material. And as a quartet, they really cooked. To Linda, it looked like her search for a top-notch band was over. 
except for one thing. These four men played so well and felt so good together that they decided to go out on their own. Well, Linda Ronstadt was sorry to see her newfound backup band leave. She hadn't even cut one record or given one concert with them, but she understood. The following year, in the summer of 72, the new group's first single release, Take It Easy, hit number 12. Since then, hits like One of These Nights, Lion Eyes, and Hotel California, plus multi-million album sales, have solidly established the Eagles as a supergroup of the 70s. The Eagles, formed as Linda Ronstadt.
Take Tonight. Coming up next, the new number one song in America. The hits from coast to coast. This is Casey Kasem on American Top 40 in Hollywood. And there's only one position left in the countdown, and that's the one at the top. But before we get to that, let's take a look at the number one positions on Billboard's other major record surveys. Number one on the soul chart, Ladies' Night by Cool and the Gang. Number one on the country chart, You Decorated My Life by Kenny Rogers. Number one on the album chart, the Long Run by the Eagles. And Billboard's number one disco is a medley of Move On Up, 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 Destination's Theme, and My Number One Request by Destination. And now on American Top 40, it's time for the brand new number one song in America. Pop Music by Robin Scott, alias M. the brand new number one song in the USA, M with Pop Music. You just heard the 40 most popular records determined by Billboard magazine for the week ending November 3rd, 1979. American Top 40 is produced in Hollywood by Watermark Incorporated. Executive producer, Tom Rounds. Producer, Don Bastani. I'm Casey Kasem. Join me again next week for our countdown of the 40 biggest hits in the USA. Till then, Keep your feet in the ground and keep reaching for the stars. And keep your radio tuned right where it is. <laughs>